Hey, what's up guys? It's Don here and today I'll be showing you the top 10 essential jailbreak tweaks for iOS 13.3. Now this video will be mostly focused on fixing Apple's annoyances, so let's get started. For our first tweak, we have Auto Unlock X and this tweak allows you to unlock your device without having to do the repetitive swipe up Apple makes you do. So if we go ahead here, I lock my device. Now I'm going to unlock it and unlock just like that. So we're going to go ahead into the settings and look what this tweak provides. So our, our first toggle is obviously the enable toggle. The second one is called disable if notification. So if you have a notification, it will not automatically unlock. Same applies to the bottom, which is disable if music playing and disable if you have your flashlight on. And then the last one is tap to auto unlock or to block the unlock. So basically, if you don't want your device to unlock, you just wanna look at the time, quickly tap, and it should disable the auto unlock. At the bottom, we have enable auto try. So in case it doesn't recognize your face and say having to do some type of motion for auto unlock to go ahead and activate again, you can enable this and it will automatically try to detect your face once again during this set time that you have down here. At the bottom, you have delay before unlock. Basically, it allows you to delay the auto unlock. This is useful if you're just trying to hit the toggle on your camera. You know, you don't want to unlock your device and have to do auto all that process of bringing your control center down just add a little delay so you could go ahead and hit those toggles because it does unlock quite fast and that's pretty much it then you have your respring to apply the settings and that is auto unlock x for our second tweak we have waqt i'm not sure how to pronounce it and this tweak is for notch devices and it basically allows you to have your time and date on the top left corner on your status bar. So if we go into our settings, you see here I have my time and also my date and date. If you transition from a old iPhone to a notch device, you notice that you only have your time and some people like it like the old days where they had the time and date and also the day. And if we go into our settings, scroll down to the tweak, it's quite simple. Uh, there's another tweak also called perfect time excess, just in case this tweak doesn't work. There's a little bit more customization, but I just switched to this one because it's more simple and more complex for people to get go ahead and get started with. So I have their basic uh, default setup. I just needed one age to make it to a 12 hour format. But I have everything the same, just how it came for the first line. You can switch it up, have your date on top and the time at the bottom. I really like it also provides a website you could go so you could see all those formats and you could play around with it. And then at the bottom, you have the inner line spacing, which basically will separate the time and date. So basically move it a little bit more down, I would say. And then you have your respring and voila, that's pretty much it for WAQT. And let's go on to our next week. The next tweak might not be essential for most, but it is if you have Auto Unlock X installed or you just use your flashlight a lot, and that is Smart Light. And this tweak allows you to turn on your flashlight by pushing the power button and volume down button at the same time for easy access. You can also adjust the brightness with the volume buttons, and the reason I said it's best paired with Auto Unlock X is because the unlock sometimes is so quick you cannot hit your flashlight toggle on time, and that is Smart Light. And this is a little preview just in case. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and push them and it turned on. Now it's on my lock screen. I'm going to push them again and now it turned off. Once again, that is Smart Light. On to the next week. Digital Battery 13 gives you your battery percentage on the top right corner of your phone, just like how we all want. Now, if you come from an old device, you know back then you actually had the ability to have your battery percentage next to the battery icon. Well, now to find out your battery percentage, you have to swipe down to your control center to see that. But Digital Battery 13 fixes that and gives us a lot more. So if we go into our settings, of course, you have your enable toggle and then you have some styles to pick from. Digital battery being the battery percentage and the last one being the stock. And the two middle ones actually should be the battery percentage inside the little battery if I'm correct. Now if we go back, we go into the font options, you have the ability to have that little bolt pop up next to your percentage when you're charging. I have that disabled. And then you have show percentage sign, either you 
have it showing or not so you could just have the number or the number and the percentage and at the bottom i think this applies for non-notch devices because for notch devices you're limited to having it on the top or right so we're going to go ahead and skip down to the auto resizing so this is basically if you don't want to change your font or change how big it is you can also turn this on to have it automatically resized the next option is bold font so if you have trouble seeing the bad percentage because it's a little bit small or skinny you could go ahead and toggle that on to make it pop a little bit more the mirror text i don't know what that is so if you do know please comment below the video to let us know what it is and then you have your tap gestures this allows you to turn on low power mode by double tapping on the percentage now for me, I have the small font, so it's kind of difficult. So I'm gonna just try to tap to see where it's going to disable. Um, but if you have a bigger font, it should not be a problem. So once it's actually activated, you will receive a haptic feedback. And sadly, I won't be able to show you in the video for you guys. Actually, I think it just, did but i turned it back on but anyways double tap on the percentage and it should turn on and off low power mode so we go back into our settings for our last few toggles we have enable color so you can have a custom color if you wanted to match your theme that you got going on or for whatever reason you just want to change the color toggle that on select your colors and then respring and you should have those custom colors. But anyways, that is it for Digital Battery 13. On to the next tweak. The fifth tweak is called Easy Edit Alarms. There are no settings to configure and it basically allows you to edit your alarms without having to do the repetitive edit and selecting the actual alarm. So with this tweak, you just tap on your alarm and you're able to edit it however you like if you have multiple alarms. Once again, that's Easy Edit Alarms. On to our next tweak. Hide bar X is our sixth tweak and there are no settings to configure and it basically hides the bar at the bottom. If you got a new device, you notice there's always a bar there. It's quite annoying. And I know it's for the gestures, but after a while you learn them and you don't need that bar and this hides it. So it looks nice and clean. That is hide bar X. Blix for All is our seventh tweak and it basically gives you a iPad style keyboard which allows you to flick down on your keyboard to improve your typing. So if you go into our settings, you do see that there are some small characters within my keyboard clicks right here and I am able to swipe down to put a number and say I want to go all the way to the right and select it and go back. Now when I first installed this tweak, I saw nothing on my keyboard, so I went into the settings. So if we go into our settings, go into Flicks for All. And I just selected one of my active layouts. I do have my English and my Spanish keyboard. So I went into here and I just put separate small slash capital letters and I got that layout. Now you can go and customize it however you like, which Ever type of keys you use the most often you can switch it out besides having the layout that i have but that's pretty much flix for all i really can't show you how to customize it because there's endless possibilities but that's how i have it it's basically stock and this pairs along very well with the swipe keyboard that just came out for ios 13 and yeah once again that is flix for all on to our next week Silent screenshot is our eighth tweak and this basically disables the camera shutter when you're taking screenshot which is very nice because if you're in public you don't want to think that you're taking a picture of someone or you don't want somebody over here starting some drama thinking you're nosy because they heard the screenshot or whatever the case is it's quite annoying and we should have the ability to turn it off so if we go into our settings tweaks and go into silent screenshot of course you have your enable toggle and you also have the ability to change the flash color when you take the screenshot instead of having that annoying white flash that hurts your eyes especially at night you do have the ability to have a custom color but do not use that because it is bugged out and broken i do have a tweak upcoming in this video to fix that and then you have your preview and white flash off so if you toggle this there will be no white flash and there will be no preview that goes down to the lower hand corner of your phone it's just a screenshot and it's in your photos and then lastly you have your shutter sound off of course that's what you want to enable and toggle for this tweak and then you also have some haptic sensitivity that you will have when you take a screenshot, you can have it hard, medium, or soft. And yeah, that is silent screenshot. Now on to our next tweak.
The ninth tweak is called Dark Shot, and this is best paired with Sighting Screenshot because it makes that white flash black so it doesn't hurt your eyes at night. So if we go into our settings, go into our tweaks, and go into the settings for Dark Shot. You have your Enable Toggle and you have your Dark Mode Toggle. If you go ahead and toggle this on, your flash will now be black. And also you have some low light toggle. So basically this will use your front camera sensor to detect your uh, basically lighting around you. So if it's a very clear bright day, it's going to be the white flash. Or if it's dark, it's going to the black one. And you also have your light threshold to basically adjust the sensitivity on how you want it to work between the, the white flash and the black flash. But I have it low and I have the dark mode toggle on so it's black all the time. And that's pretty much it. That is dark shot. Now on to our last and final tweak. Real CC is our last and final tweak. As you guys know, back then on the older devices when you used to toggle your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth off, it will actually turn off. Well, now with the new iOS, it doesn't turn off. It just disables the connection for I think 12 or 24 hours, then it turns back on. Now, some of you don't like that because you want to save as much battery by turning on and off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and Real CC brings that back. So if we go into our settings, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my Prism. Go ahead and keep eye on my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now I'm not going to turn off my Wi-Fi because I'm recording, of course, to my laptop. But we're going to do our Bluetooth. And I just turned off my Bluetooth. If we go into our settings, Bluetooth is now turned off. It's not disabled for a few hours. It's completely turned off. So if I go back, turn it back on once again, as you can see, it is now on. And I can find some devices, but it's pretty much straightforward. There's no settings to configure. Just download, install, respring, and that is real CC. And that's the top 10 essential tweaks to start off your iOS 13.5 jailbreak. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, you know what to do. And if you'd like to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.